Adrian is visiting the Agerstown Community College Hawks and your AACC River Hawks. And Arundel Community College is proud to have 100% tobacco free campus. The use of any tobacco products during today's game is strictly prohibited. Restrooms are located in the south lobby of Jenkins Gym. An additional family restroom is located north of the gym. The National Junior College Athletic Association, Region 20, and the Roman Community College are committed to good ideas of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask all fans, coaches, and players to show respect for teams, game officials, and each other before, during, and after our ball game. Person thrown objects or participated in acts in conflict with good sportsmanship, safety, or fair play are subject to rejection and prosecution. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated and your ability is done. Josh Ponce. I'm a student nurse here at ACC. I just graduated from high school last year and I didn't really know what to do. But then I decided to do nursing because, well, both my parents are nurses. I wasn't really attracted, attracted to the idea of nursing uh, because my parents tell me all about these icky stuff that they do. But they also tell me about how rewarding it is. And I really want that. <laughs> they know people at the hospital that, act, that actually seek the health sciences programs here at ACC. My prereq classes here, they were very affordable. Um, the nursing program, I don't pay it as much as, as I would at different institutions. I only expected to go here in this program, get a degree and get out, but nope. Um, I, even in this first semester, I made a lot of good friends and then I discovered the amazing faculty, the amazing people, amazing education they get from this beautiful campus. And now I have a lot of experiences, life experiences that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Now, let's meet the starters for today's game. First, for Angus Town. Number two, Usain Perkins. Number three, DeAndre Mitchell. Number 15, Trent Walker. Number 22, Eric Adams. And number 50, Jason Swore. The head coach for the Hawks is Bernard Hopkins. He is assisted by Colby Mills, Ben Salado, and Janiah Emilio Hopkins.
And now for the AACC Riverhawks. Number 14, Avery Evans. Number 24, Jemiah Strowman. Number 33, Chris Heath. Number 40, Nicholas Augustifer. And number 44, Devon Marshall. Head coach for the Royal Hawks is Joe Snowden. He is assisted by Clayton Smith, Joe Gray, and DeAndre McNeil.
building. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I like how open it is. We really like definitely. the window seats. It's definitely good that I saw a lot of space for studying. There's a Chick-fil-A in here. We'll probably be spending a lot of time here. <laughs> tremendous outcomes in our healthcare programs, but we had space that was inadequate. In the Floristano building, we were tight. We used every square inch of that building. We've grown as a division, both in our biology departments, as well as our physical sciences. For biology, we were really spread out amongst three separate buildings. We made collaboration within our own department difficult. We have amazing faculty that know how to get it done, so we made it work. Definitely the healthcare sector is asking for more practitioners, particularly nursing. So we have strong uh, relationships with those businesses and industry and community organizations, and they're telling us what we need to be doing. So we began to look to the future. We ended up deciding that it would be better to have a new facility built. We had approval, we had funding. We had tours of other health science buildings. There were meetings with local community groups. We had to close two buildings to make this happen. I will say that we had a ringside seat from where I sat. Faculty and staff were invited to the table. We sat in hours and hours of meetings. I saw a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement amongst faculty and staff as well as students. We have come so far. Our 2016 plan reiterated the need for a new health and life sciences building, and here we are breaking ground. Then we reached the point where we were actually implementing everything. Of course, we had to purchase a lot of new stuff. Timelines changed, so there were some adjustments that needed to be made. They really put a lot of thought into making sure that we were able to get what we needed. The day I could finally say we are moved in, what a relief. The simulation center is something I'm very proud of that we've incorporated. There's a new surgical tech suite, new dental lab. It opens up a whole new realm for, I think, the instructors to bring their instruction into today and in the future. The building kind of offers sort of a marriage between like this very high tech environment, but also a very welcoming space. It's so important when you're a commuter student to be able to come and comfortably spend your day. Like you are a part of a campus. It's gonna bring more positive attention to the college. It's always trying to grow. We have a seamless pathway for our students once they graduate to go right into these healthcare institutions. They'll be better prepared, not only for the workforce, but to transfer. It just shows that we're here for the community and that we really want to put our best foot forward to make sure we keep training the best healthcare workers in Maryland.
would like to welcome everyone to Anne Arundel Community College for the opening of our Health and Life Sciences building. This is a very exciting day for Anne Arundel Community College. This building will promote a culture of lifelong learning with a focus on student completion, meeting the diverse needs of the community while eliminating barriers for our students. From that first teaspoon of soil to the eventual ribbon cutting, I feel very excited. There's nothing better than effective teaching and effective teaching comes a lot from being excited about what we're doing. So moving forward, I'm excited about seeing our students learn in a more real setting. I'm excited about the direction we're taking. There is so much more that we can actually do. I feel so proud of our teams. And I'm so happy to be here. I'm looking forward to just more collaboration with all of the departments within health sciences, our collaboration with biology. I've learned that um, it's possible. If there's one word that describes this project, it's teamwork. Even though this was huge, we're not done. We're not done.
didn't know too much about the game industry, just that I wanted to get in. Well, I chose ACC because nobody really had like an art based game design course. Every time I'm like working on a new character, it's like a new mental challenge. School will give you the framing for how to learn. That's when you actually start to pick up things. I was here for about two and a half years. And from there, I just kind of crashed course through the industry. My next goal is either to become like a lead or a principal artist directing a project or a team of character artists to make like a whole roster of new characters.